So this is my tiny home. If you'll see right here, this is clear grade A vertical cut cedar. There's no knots, nothing. It's all just pure wood grain, all right? And then moving along, you'll see over on the back here, over here we have this LG Smart Inverter Split System. So this heats and cools, and I was in this in negative 30 in a Michigan winter, and it kept me warm. All right, so let's go inside. Normally there's stairs here, I just don't have them right now. All right, so if you look up here, that's the LG system. I think it looks super nice with the white. So if you'll see here as well, these walls are all just maple walls, maple countertop, and then actually out of this countertop, we get this cutting board. And this cutting board fits perfectly over the sink. You can cut stuff, slide it right into the sink. Pretty awesome. This right here, right here, is for hanging pots. Pots always store better when you hang them versus putting them in a cabinet, all right? So, if you'll see over here, we have a uh, just a nice little custom corner unit. Popper in the front here, custom made pillows. You can't buy this. Custom made just for this tiny house, all right? And then so, uh, if you wanna show them, you can go up the ladder. So if you'll go up this ladder right here, there's the loft. And uh, the loft, it's, it's a, just over three feet high in the loft there, so it's enough for a, maybe a short mattress. And um, definitely spacious enough for probably two people with enough space on the sides there to put small cabinets or whatever you would need to store clothing. And then if you'll come down, this ladder unfolds super easy. You just pop it off, right? Fold it in half. All right, it's pretty light, it's pine. And then it just goes tucked in right behind the fridge here. All right, now moving on, this typically is where we would have a convection oven, small convection oven that comes with the house. Uh, it's just being cleaned right now. And then also typically I would have a, just an electric induction burner right here, it plugs in here. And then you can just put it right in the cabinet when you're not using it. That maximizes your counter space so you can always have enough counter space even if you're not cooking. And then, moving on, if you want to show them the bathroom here. So this is just a utility closet, five fuses, super easy, super easy electrical, obviously grounded to the house for safety purposes. And then if you'll come in here into the bathroom, standard toilet, and then in the shower over here, shower, this is a low water shower head which i'll show you the water heater in a second so we have a nice pretty solid shower uh 36 inches by 32 all right and then the water heater so the water heater is directly under the sink we used all, all pex which helps a lot it's a lot better than pvc because pex expands when it gets hot so it breaks less, as, as opposed to copper pipes or something like that that are going to break over time. P, uh, PEX works pretty well. So this water heater, right? This is a seven-gallon water heater, but with our low-water shower head, you can take easily a 25-minute shower without losing hot water, and you won't even notice, right? And um, something else to notice, too, is because it's a tiny house, you get instant hot water because there's only three, four feet of pipe from this hot water heater to the shower. So you're getting instant hot water. It's pretty awesome. Definitely better than a regular house. And that's it. That's the tiny house.